hi guys and welcome to today's video so today's video is going to be my top tuberose picks for spring and summer just to go over kind of the older profile that i got from fragrantica tuberose is in the group of white flowers and the odor profile is an intense white floral carnal sweet and indolic fragrance note with green nuances for the most part tuberose is pretty distinct to my nose so all of these have a very predominant note of tuberose and a lot of them come off kind of the way it's described here but I would say sweet with like maybe a slight bubblegummy note to my nose or maybe grape it's to me a more sweeter flower I would say jasmine has always been more a little more green and fresh to my nose come off a little soapy tuberose to me kind of like some yellow florals they have a sweetness to them so i'll try to go over because i do find tuberose to vary from different perfumes but still something that i can detect so we have 10 fragrances to go over i do have several honorable mentions because if you're a tuberose lover i think these fragrances are beautiful but they were either redundant in my collection or i just didn't find them to be worth the high price tag and when i say not worth it i definitely mean to me <laughs> so keep that in mind whenever I, I say that but let's go ahead and get into the video so the first honorable mention is from the armani Privé collection and that is rouge malachite so i did haul this fragrance around fall time and it's a beautiful fragrance there's nothing wrong with it i just found it to be a little overpriced for me now i know i did have a couple people say that it's not for a tuberose lover and you're right because i'm more of a jasmine and rose lover and i've definitely put my money especially on in rose perfumes so just remember that when I say it's overpriced, it is to what I would put my money towards. Even though the one I'm going to mention next is also high, but it's what I would put my money towards. So Rouge Malachi, again, beautiful tuberose fragrance. I also get the jasmine a lot in this fragrance, and it actually reminded me a lot of the Dolce & Gabbana, the only one intense. In fact, the reason why Rouge Malachi was one that I found to be overpriced is because it reminded me of a lot of designer perfumes that I have or had. It has aspects of Alien, which I know upsets some people, but the jasmine in that just reminds me of the jasmine in Alien and also the jasmine in Dolce & Gabbana is the only one intense. I will say that it was blended to perfection. I believe that one has, it has tuberose in the top, the mid, and the base, but the tuberose in that fragrance was definitely smooth and very creamy. It was a very voluptuous, very spicy, full, creamy tuberose scent. And then you got the jasmine. Very pretty, It's again, it smelled expensive, but it reminded me of other designer fragrances. But I think if you're a tuberose lover, that's one you're gonna want to test out because it is a very, beautiful tuberose jasmine scent now this next one so this one i actually have a sample thanks to my girl anna this is frederick mall carnal flower this is a tuberose this is the greener side oh my goodness this scent by the way i, I am i am gonna add this one to my collection this to me is where I would put my money because it's tuberose, but I feel like this it's just got something else going on. I don't have anything like this. This smells expensive. This isn't going to be for everyone though. This does open up in Dulic. It's very carnal in the opening, just like the name would imply. But this is to me a more green, more realistic tuberose scent. This has tuberose, eucalyptus, jasmine, coconut, orange blossom, ylang ylang, white musk, melon, and bergamot. This scent is gorgeous. Um, it is one that when I sprayed it, I was like, mmm, because of the opening. Again, it opens up very carnal and dolic. I was like, no, I don't like this. Then I kept catching whiffs of it, and I just, I ended up wearing it two days straight. I'm going to finish this sample. 
but I'm pretty sure this is going to be my next tuberose scent. It is unlike anything I have ever tried. It's different from other tuberose, but yet I still get the tuberose. I just feel like it's the most realistic tuberose. Again, it's got more of the green nuances and the sweetness comes in more in the dry down. It does get a little creamier. It gets a little of those kind of yellow, like that warm yellow floral from the ylang ylang. Oh, this one's gorgeous. This to me smells expensive, but more niche. And it's one that I could see myself wearing year round, which is one of the requirements I prefer when it comes to an expensive perfume, not even just niche, just when it's a pricey perfume, I want it to be one that I can wear year round. Something about it's a little tropical. And I live in a tropical climate, but again, that's Frederick Malls Carnal Flower. Okay, another honorable mention is BDK's Tuberus Imperial. Tuberose Imperial. This one, I, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I've had some declutter regrets because I remember this being a very beautiful kind of sweet maybe slightly bubblegum kind of bridal tuberose scent it was very feminine i remember this being like a love at first sniff but i also remember after that four hour mark being very bored of this scent but i also wonder if because this is one that performs really well i also wonder if it's one that i would have enjoyed if i because i got this when i wasn't into layering but I almost feel like maybe I would have worn it and in that four hour mark when I got tired of it, I could have popped on one of these other fragrances. But this next one I'm gonna talk about, even though it doesn't smell like it, it gives me that same kind of vibe. So I might end up getting a bottle of that instead. But this is one that if you absolutely love the note of tuberose, this is a very tuberose forward scent. It has other notes that are going on in it but i definitely feel like this is a very classy very sweet tuberose bridal scent and again that is bdk's tuberus imperial okay so this next one i didn't like when i first tested it out and i'm starting to think that i tested out like just a bad bottle because dennis didn't like it either and then i got two two mils of it since then and i also got a mini but that is my way by giorgio armani just to kind of remind myself this is that bubblegum tuberose that's what this opens up it's very bubblegum very sparkly very kind of pink creamy sweet yeah this one is very pretty and I tested it and I've had Dennis smell it after we had tested it in store and he did like the sample so when I had a chance to get another sample I got it because you know how samples can be a little funny yeah this is one that I would probably add like a little one ounce because I just think it's really pretty and even though I, I find BDK like this one's definitely more bubblegum. That one was a little bit more creamy. I feel like I'll enjoy this one more. So this is one that I am thinking of picking up a little one ounce, but this is beautiful. Again, this is My Way by Giorgio Armani. Okay, the next two I would say are my fruitiest. That are the ones I'm gonna talk about. But we have here the Scandals. Now this one, they do not mention tuberose, but this you can't tell me otherwise. This has the famous Scandal tuberose. And these are by Jean-Paul Gaultier. And we have Scandal à Paris. And we have So Scandal. So this one has the note of jasmine. This one they say has pear, jasmine, and honey. It does open up. Like I do get the jasmine in the opening. This one I didn't put into my jasmine perfume because I almost have to be looking for it. Like, it opens up very sparkly and bright from the pear. And then I do get something kind of clean from the jasmine, but that fades away on my skin very quickly. And this becomes sweet, honey, and then I get that tuberose that I get in all of the scandals. I will say that it comes off more buttery 
in Scandal by Night and then I get it slightly buttery in the original. I would say in this one it's creamy but it's more of that sweet famous tuberose that I get in all of the Scandals. So even though they don't list tuberose, they don't even list it as an accord, I still get it in this fragrance. So Scandal, this one is more on the berry side whereas that one's more sparkly pear tuberose this one's more berries and kind of creamy like it's got a lectonic note yeah and again i don't get jasmine in this one this one has orange blossom jasmine sambach i get the tuberose in this one i get the tuberose in both of these it's more creamy more of that creamy, sweet tuberose scent. And I'll have my house review where I go over all of the Skindals, well, not all of them, the four that I've tried, as well as the labels. I'll have that link down below, just because I didn't want to include the original and by night, because those to me are definitely more fall and um, winter scents. These are more, I would say, spring and summer. And again, that is Jean-Paul Gaultier. We have Scandal à Paris and So Scandal. Okay, and then the next few I'm gonna go over to me are those kind of classy tuberose scents. They're the perfumes that to me are very work appropriate. So next we have Prada La Femme. The tuberose in here is to me more of that, the floral side of tuberose, still sweet because Again, I find tuberose to be kind of a sweet floral note. But to me, it leans more on the floral side. Whereas some of the other ones that I've talked about are creamy, bubblegummy. This is more of that sweet floral tuberose. But this scent is very soapy. It's got a beeswax note. I think there's frangipani, carrot seeds. There is something, just like a white floral accord, there is something that is kind of a yellow floral accord to this one, which is coming from that frangipani. This also has ylang ylang. So this is one that I would probably also place in my yellow floral video because I do get that accord in here as much as I get the tuberose. This is very soapy, classy, slightly sweet tuberose yellow floral fragrance and again that is prada la femme okay so two more classy tuberose fragrances from the givenchy line we have l'entradi the eau de toilette and the eau de parfum and again i'm gonna leave my entire range review on this one below because i do have rouge and the intense version and those are also tuberose ford fragrances but those are definitely more i would say fall and winter whereas these two to me are more year-round or spring and summer fragrances i especially love this one for work it's very classy sweet tuberose kind of fragrance the tuberose in here comes off a little bit more like grape in the opening Oh, so beautiful. The original of this fragrance was inspired by Audrey Hepburn, so this is meant to be kind of your classy, sophisticated, elegant kind of fragrance. I will say the Eau de Toilette, which is actually my scent of the day, is the more fresh version. It opens up again with that kind of grape tuberose, but it's got a freshness to it so it's one that I know when I want to smell clean and classy but maybe it's the dead heat of summer here in Florida it's probably the one I'm gonna reach for this one I would say is more spring if I had to put it in a season this one's more spring and this one is more summer but because this one's a little heavier and I do like to wear something that I can pick up a little bit more so I will say this one performs better than the eau de toilette but this is a very nice fresh version and again that is Givenchy L'Entradi and we have the Eau de Toilette and the Eau de Parfum okay two more I mean I didn't realize how much I love tuberose but I have here 
Ralph Lauren Woman and Woman Intense. So I actually recently just revisited this one when I was gonna film this video. I tested these out, I think in 2020, and I'll leave my review below, but I was a little bit on the fence with both of these fragrances. And again, I wore them recently to kind of test them out and I'm really enjoying them, like more than I remember. And I don't know if it's because I've tested out other perfumes since then, but this kind of falls in the same line as, it doesn't smell like it, but Gabrielle Essence by Chanel, kind of that floral, fruity, airy kind of fragrance. That one has tuberose as well, but I, I pick up the tuberose more in this one. This one, I would say between the two, the intense and this one, I do get a slight bubble gum in the opening, but this is more of a sweet white floral tuberose. Oh my goodness. I will say that when I had tested this out in 2020, I don't know if it was because I drenched my clothes. I had said I got about six to eight hours. So two things that have changed. I said that this didn't garner me compliments. I've worn it since then. And when I went to work, I did receive a couple compliments. So I will say that I wasn't fair when I had reviewed this the first time. We had just headed into lockdown and I only wore it a couple times into the office before, you know. So I didn't really give this one a chance. And then when I wore it recently, I did have a couple of coworkers tell me it smelled good. But this doesn't last as long as I remember. This projected for about the first hour and then it sat closer. Like the two people that complimented me were in my cubicle. So I do find this one to sit closer and then I didn't notice it after that five or six hour mark. I don't know if I went nose blind to it and maybe before I didn't, but I, I did wanna point that out because these aren't as heavy as I remember. Now I have been testing a lot of perfumes since then and I've come across a lot of beast mode perfumes, so that could also be it. But even in that one, I said this one was um, syrupy and it's not. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave my review, but take it with a grain of salt because that review's over a year old. So in that review, I had wore this one during the day and then I had popped this one at night. And I do think that that is a nice combination. This doesn't interrupt this scent. And by the time that end of day, end of work day comes around, this is a nice one if you're gonna go to a happy hour or just go out on a date. This is a nice one to pop on over. This one is the more intense version. And it's probably one I wouldn't wear to work just because I could see someone being annoyed by this one. But this is a beautiful, classy, kind of airy, tuberose, kind of fruity scent. Kind of like Gabrielle Essence. Again, that one's a little bit more white floral to my nose even though that one has the note of tuberose. This one, I pick up more of the tuberose so my mind has definitely changed about this one i think if i went through both these bottles i would repurchase um a 50 ml of this one and i say 50 ml because i would probably have to overspray this one i think in that one i said a little goes a long way definitely a little of this one goes a long way you could overspray this one so my review has changed i might have to update that one so again that is Ralph Lauren's Woman and Woman Intense. And again, this to me is more day, and then this one is more night. So for my last fragrance, kind of keeping in line with night, we have Rihanna's Rebel Fleur. Now this to me is a more nighttime fragrance to my nose. It's a little bit sexy. I do get the patchouli that's in here. Not like overly but I do get it. This opens up very fruity, but the fruits in here are a little bit more dark. This has plum, this has red berries. This is a very beautiful, fruity, coconutty tuberose fragrance. The tuberose in here is not too strong or heavy, but it is more of that kind of sweet floral, whereas to me, tuberose can come off in many different ways. Creamy, buttery, bubblegummy. This is a very, pretty tropical celebrity fragrance kind of an affordable one but i do get more like nighttime vibes from this one like to me this is a very beautiful summer nights kind of fragrance 
So again, that is Rihanna's Rebel Fleur. But those are my top tuberose fragrances in my collection or that I have had in my collection at one point. Just because they're not here anymore, again, that doesn't mean they're not amazing fragrances they're just either redundant or they weren't worth the high price tag to me but let me know in the comments below do you guys have any of these fragrances and what are your thoughts on them but that will do it for today's video i hope you liked it if you did please give it a thumbs up and i will catch you guys in my next video bye guys